DMILO is an open source solution which retrieves clinical data from patients through an application allowing them to be monitored from their own home. Clinicians can review the data on a web portal. The system is used primarily for chronic conditions such as COPD, heart failure, and complications in pregnancy. This system can also support patients with other conditions without difficulty. DeMilo's web portal gives clinicians an overview of relevant events. Color-coded alarms indicate whether measurements have been performed or exceed threshold values or if there are any unread messages from the patients. From the main menu, clinicians can search for patients and register for new patients. To find a patient, click on the icon that says Find Patients. Here you will enter the name of the patient you are looking for. Below, the patient should appear and you can click on it and find out all the information on this patient. To create a new patient, click on the icon Create Patient. Here you will be asked to create a unique ID for the patient and provide the information as follows, such as name, address, phone number, email, etc. From the overview screen, clinicians can click to access individual patient data. Under individual patient patients, clinicians can view an overview of questionnaire responses. Clinicians can evaluate individual questionnaires and acknowledge that they have received it and the patient can be sure their data has been viewed. All recorded measurements and data provide a clear representation of the patient's health. In the rows, clinicians can see responses from questionnaires and measurements. In the columns, clinicians can see the dates and times that the questionnaires have been received. The clinician can send a message to the patient to, the in, to initiate a video consultation or call the patient in for further examination at the hospital. A patient menu is shown for, for each patient on the left-hand side. Clinicians can use this to access patients' personal data and change threshold values and assign patients to different patient groups. Each patient group has defined threshold values at the group level which the clinician can override for individual patients. Under the Messages menu, patients and clinicians can communicate using messages. These messages are much like the messages used with smartphones. Clinicians can mark the message as unread, reply, or mark as read. Clinicians can also record internal notes about the patient for hospital and other colleagues to see. Add new meter and kit. Under the meter menu, click on the icon that says new meter. Enter the following information. ID number, model name, type, patient, and kit. A kit is a package of kits that are all together for different patient groups or disease types. To add a new meter, you must specify which equipment kit it correlates with. And the last step is to click the icon that says create and you have added a new meter. Medical devices. Medical devices can be found under meters which is located on the left of the screen. Here you will find an active list of all the medical devices used. a and provides two of the medical devices used. Digital blood pressure monitor and pulse, and precision health scale, which measures weight. Vitalograph is a lung monitor that measures your lung function. Nonin provides an oximeter, which 
measures the saturation levels in the patient. Monica provides a fetal maternal Holter recorder. AccuCheck is a mobile blood sugar monitor, and this is also a USB. Abbott provides the Freestyle Navigator, which is a continuous glucose monitoring device, which is also USB. There are several measures that need to be manually inputted. They are as follows. Temperature, protein in urine, hemoglobin, CRP, which is C-reactive protein, and glucose in urine. Clinicians can access patient's data and view it as graphs or tables. The data can be filtered by periods and fluctuations and patient's measurements can be compared. As you can see, each of the patient's data is viewed in a graph. Under the measurements menu, all data can be viewed in table form and clinicians can see when alarms have been triggered. In the patient's monitoring plan, the clinician can assign or remove questionnaires from the patient and adjust when the patient has to record measurements and answer questionnaires. Here you can edit the scheduling of questionnaires or change the questionnaire. Here's where you assign a questionnaire and where you assign a questionnaire group. Alert colors. Alert notifications and what each color means. Red notification. A red notification means that the threshold has been exceeded or questions have been answered in a way that has triggered a red notification. Yellow notification. A yellow notification means that the threshold has been exceeded or questions have been answered in a way that has triggered a yellow notification. Blue notification. A blue notification means that the questionnaire has not been submitted within the program time frame. An orange notification means that all submitted questionnaires must be manually checked and this is set up when you design the questionnaire. Green notification means that everything is okay and within the correct boundaries. A gray notification means that there is an unread message or important note that is due. Alerts change automatically. When the status of the alert changes, so does the color. Alerts are All alerts are staggered, so there can be yellow notifications hiding under several red notifications. When the nurse signs off the alert, the patient is sent an acknowledgement and the notification is cleared.